are you getting a new puppy just like this one? So if you're getting a new puppy, what do you need to do to set your house up for success if you already have a established dog in your house? We're gonna find out right now. I'll see you guys on the other side. So one of the most important things when you are bringing home a new dog is you have to remember the food and water bowls of your current dog have to change. All right, you can't have water down all day long anymore because then your potty training is going to be going basically in the poopers or in the peer for the sake. So make sure that you pick up these things in your house so this way you're setting your new dog up for success and your old dog will definitely fall back on their old ways and it won't make a difference. All you're gonna be doing is having a set schedule for your dogs uh, instead of feeding them together and giving them water together. Can't do that. Potty training is gonna be super difficult that way. All right. Alrighty, so the next question is what do you do about toys? Nothing. Let them play with them all day long. Your dog should not show any signs of aggression or control or dominance over any of their toys because it's not their toys. They're the family's toys. So if you notice your dog showing signs of some sort of aggression, just go ahead, take that one toy and they don't get it until, you know, here you go. Until they've earned the right to get that toy back or until they can play well with others. So as you see here, we have the two crates side by side, and there's a little gap between, and that's for safety. This way they, you know, they have a little bit of space. They need their space. You have to have your already current established dog already kind of in their pattern. You don't want to change anything. So you don't want to put another dog right on top of them. So a little bit of space is good. And then, you know, obviously we're not going to use pee pads or anything like that. So we want to keep it clean and nice. And these crates are perfect. And that's about it for the crates. Simple. Remember, keep it simple. If you have a new dog, one is already potty trained, one is not. Go ahead and get rid of all the bedding you keep in the one crate and just put towels in both. Keep it easy. This way if the dogs tend to go back and forth between crates, this way, if one pees in one crate and not their own crate, there is no mine yours anymore. It's now yours. <laughs> it is yours. It will be yours forever. All right, so in this household, we never needed a dog gate before because the dog that's here never had an issue. Well, now that we have two dogs, it's kind of a safety thing to keep both dogs away from the front door. So a good, solid, expensive dog gate, even though it may cost a little more, but it's definitely worth the time. Alrighty, so Archer's first day there was super exciting. As you see, there's Big Sis. Alrighty, so we're having a big party celebrating uh, the new puppy coming to the house. You can hear the grill cooking in the background. So I'm going to get out of here and go play with the new dog. I will see you guys next time. Once again, if this is your first time watching, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button you see, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Thanks.